welcome back to Loaded Landscapes. My name's Simon Plant and today I'm going to show you a couple of little tricks in Lightroom to help us colour our images. So this is an image I shot on the island of Menorca. It was uh, quite late in the season and uh, it was quite stormy the last day we were there. And this was shot at dusk. And uh, I've processed the image and I'm fairly happy with it, but it doesn't really represent the, 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 the colours that I experienced uh, in the scene when I captured it. And this is where things like split toner can help us really convey the scene as we captured it. Um, the first one uh, way of doing this is a couple of ways of, uh, of colour grading. First way is to use a split toning. Now, the way I use this is I'll, I'll pick the highlights or the shadows first and I will bring the saturation up so I can see what I'm doing and then I can either play around with the hue slider to pick out the colors I want and for this I might want to go sort of obviously warm for the more the highlight areas or I can click on the color picker here and obviously click around and find sort of the roughly the colors I want like so I'm just going to pick out a warm color somewhere around there for now the other option is you can actually uh, hold down the shift key and drag this uh, eyedropper onto your actual image and click and pick out a color that's already in the image there and that's uh, up in the box here we can use that um, to work color the image as well so there's a couple of options there uh, I find it sometimes just more um, easier just to use the hue slider here and pick out what I want like so now somewhere around there looks quite good for starters we can keep the saturation up there for a second and once we're happy we'll just leave that where it is and we do the same for the sh shadows and bring the saturation up quite high to begin with and for this we really want to sort of bring in the cooler tones something around there looks quite good I think bring down a saturation until somewhere we're happy. The other thing we can do is we can also uh, adjust the balance between the highlights and the shadows. So if you want to favour more the shadow colour in the image, we can bring it down towards the shadow end. Or if you want the highlight Im highlights in the uh, image to be more prominent, we can use the balance slider more towards the highlight end. So actually, I think I'd prefer that. Uh, and we just keep on tweaking these until we're happy with the balance we've got. I'm going to bring that shadow colour up a little bit stronger. Maybe slide it down this way a little bit. Like so. So you can get in there and have a play around with those. They're quite intuitive and, and quite fun uh, to use. So that's one way we can colour grade our image. There's before and there's after. So I've just really just split, like uh, like it says, split toning does that. It splits the tones, the colours, it maps the colour to the highlights and to the shadows. It's quite, um, I don't want to use the word crude, but it is, quite, uh, it is quite a crude instrument to use. There is, however, a more refined way of doing this within Lightroom. Okay, so I've just reset the tone on that. The other uh, way is to go to the tone curve, okay? And uh, in here, and uh, not everybody knows this, um, there's a way of actually manipulating the curves um, to add colour in the areas that we want. The first thing we need to do is to click on the uh, point curve box here. And you'll notice when we do that, we get uh, a channel box come up with RGB. Now, if we click on the RGB, you can actually manipulate the curve in the red, green, and blue channels. Now, it sounds a bit more techy than it needs to be. Um, it's pretty simple. So, if we click on the curve, let's say we want to add a bit more red into the highlight area, like we did uh, with the split toning. We can click on the curve to anchor a point there, which will stop the curve moving uh, in that area. I'll put another one actually more in the middle. And then we can click another one up here. And here we can just drag this up. And you'll see we're starting to get some red come through in this area up here. Just keep an eye on that. Okay, so it's adding some colour just in that part of the curve. Now that's very powerful because it means that we can add colour in certain areas of the sky there without affecting 
the other areas. So I can lower this down. That that means that that colour won't encroach onto the uh, darker tones as much. Uh, we can go to the uh, blue channel if you want to, and let's say we want to do the same here, uh, but add a little bit more yellow to the highlights. We do the same thing. I'm going to pull this one up, and you'll see. Sorry, pull it down, bring it up, it's adding blue, pull it down, it'll add a bit of yellow. You can see that sky is going a bit more yellow and less blue. But we don't want to do that, I want to keep it uh, as it is. Uh, but what we can do is add a bit of blue to our shadows. So I'm going to pull this curve, this point curve, down a little bit and just add a bit more blue. And you'll see that coming in now around the bench, a bit more blue down here. All right, that. Uh, make sure that I lock down the curve at the top. I don't want that to mess up my nice red in the highlights of my cloud. So it's a little bit more finicky. Um, green. I don't think we need to manipulate the greens in this. Or maybe we do a little bit. Maybe I just add a bit more green to the darker tones. But again, I'm going to bring the highlight one down a bit. That will add magenta to our sky, like so. And that looks quite nice. So again, you can manipulate this bit more. Is that manipulate these curves and but have more control over the way they're affecting the, the image? I've got to be honest. It, it's it's much easier to do this in Photoshop. Um, I often will color grade my images, open up curves, and do a similar thing within curves. Uh, manipulate the RGB channels in a similar fashion to this, but it's a little bit easier to manipulate than it is in Lightroom. But you can still do it, but it's just uh, a little bit more control in Photoshop. So there we have it. So we can close that off. Now, another thing I'm going to mention um, while we're here is that um, if you open up an image, and I'll open up one for you, if you open up an older image, let's pick out this one. If you open up that up and you click on the curves here, you'll notice I haven't got that RGB option. Now, the reason for that is, and it took me a while to work this one out, is that it, if it's an older image, it may have a different process version. So if that's the case, if you go up to settings and process, you'll notice here it's on 2003 version. You can't use manipulate the RGB channels in the curve on an older version. You need to update it. So you need to click on 2012, which is the current version, and now you'll see the RGB pop up there. Let's just do this one very quickly to show you again. So in this image, it's shot at dawn, quite warm tones in the highlights, so maybe I want to accentuate that a bit further. We can add a bit of red. Okay, we've got a lot of water in this as well, reflecting off. I'm just going to lower the shadows a little bit. And then I'm going to go to my blue channel. And again, I want to add some yellow to the highlights. So I'm going to bring this one down. Bring the bottom of the curve up to add a few more cooler tones to the shadows. And just have a little play around with that, like so. That's looking quite nice. And uh, again, green. I'm not sure we need to do much with the green on this. But green also adds magenta. Oops. So we could add maybe a bit more magenta to the highlights, perhaps. Mm, don't know, I'm not sure about that. We'll leave it around there. So there's uh, another one. Manipulate very quickly, and we've adjusted the color. Uh, there's before, there's after. So very quickly, by adjusting those few curves, we change the look, uh, the color grading of the image quite significantly. Uh, there and that's it so there's a couple of little ways there of color grading your images within Lightroom hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to catch you on the next one cheers for watching